are you? You look very handsome. Thank look at you. you. You do too. And I like that even though you're dressed up and you're traditionally dressed up, you've just got a hint of punk rock with that belt you have on well, there. How did There's you see? I just you noticed, notice everything. I, you know, <laughs> I, I like to see what I like to evaluate what's going on yeah. with you. By the way, I do want to say, have you been watching The Bachelorette? This I have season? not. Been, I I've been taking a break. We used to share that in common. Yes. I've taken a break this season. I feel like uh, no offense to ABC or anything, but I've. I feel like it's a formula that's starting to repeat sometimes. No, no. <laughs> when did you when did you realize that? Season 18? Like 19, something. Like that. <laughs> so you're saying what will happen? Well, I've actually now just become more of a kind of a, a bachelor in paradise, that kind of thing. Really? You I just moved went to the <laughs> Skip the rest of it, and then I just kind of want the drama. The wild the west of the drama, bachelor yeah. of paradise. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Well, it hasn't been the same without you this season. I know because you moved to New York, yeah. and you have new friends now. Yeah, You have I a do. new group of friends now. I have a new group of friends. <laughs> <You> are, <laughs> I hope you don't it's mind me mentioning this, but you would become friends. Is it with all of the guys from Queer Eye or some of the guys from Queer Eye? I become, well, primarily with... Uh, Johnny, uh, Jonathan, and uh, Tanny and Anthony. They, I've, I've, they've, they've now become, they've sort of included me in their little. Three of the five have embraced back. you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And how did you meet? Did you meet these guys before the show came out? I met out? them. I was a big fan of the first season, uh -huh. you know, and kind of binged it. Uh, and then I did one of those things that you, that I've never done before in my life, where I was uh, with some friends. and It was Easter, and we, we were, I was just like, I'm just gonna DM him because I saw in his stories that he was in New York. On Easter. On Easter. Yeah, I was making a quiche. Really? Yeah. That's <laughs> how so we celebrate. Um, and I and I I sent him a little. I was like, Hey, you probably won't get this, uh, but uh, this is Justin, and uh, I'm making a quiche this Easter. And if you want to come by, I knew he was in Brooklyn or something because he was with Anthony. And he immediately hit me back and was like, Oh my God, yes, I'm coming right away. And then, like, really? So he came. He came over. Yeah, Anthony didn't come that time, but he came over. We had quiche. And <laughs> you had Easter yeah. together. And now it's sort of become this kind of thing. Whenever they're in t they're off shooting the next season. And do they see you down ever and go like, Hey, listen, you're we want to work on your look or no. anything like that? No, no. I, that was kind of the hope that, that I'd kind of get these great tips and I'd have a makeover of my house. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. No, and actually, it's the opposite. I'm usually the one doing shopping. Really? <laughs> like, oh my God, the guys are coming over and I got You guys go shopping yeah. together? Yeah, Anthony made me nachos once, and that was about the extent of it. it was not really <laughs> real. It's real. But they're experts in this. They, they go to, if people haven't seen the show, it's a great show, by yeah, the way. Yeah. They go to these, these men who are, are oftentimes very sad individuals. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they make their lives better. They completely. Yeah, you're in tears by the end of it, and it's fantastic. And then they leave, and then the lives go right back to horrible. Right back to horrible, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Just immediately. <laughs> mud starts creeping down the walls again. I love the uh, idea of you guys shopping together. Yeah, we How shop, does that we work? Shop. Well, we just, we go shopping. I mean, we went, a lot of times they'll just kind of, because they like some of the stuff, so like, that I have in my house. So I like, see. You know, like, uh, one night we were hanging out, and we are about to go out, and, um, and then Jonathan realized he needed a crop top, and he's like, oh my god, I need a crop top. Mm -hmm. They came during Pride Week. It's just, and, yeah, for real. So, yeah, so I was like, oh my god. So we had to, like, I, I got a t-shirt, and I oh cut god. off the <laughs> sleeves, and then I cut the thing. <laughs> You cropped the top for it? Yeah. I, we wanted to do a crop top that had the, you know, the ones that has the, like this, but then has tassels. That's what he wanted. So I was like, right. oh, great. So I'll cut the crop top, and then we did the tassels. How did you so, do the tassel? Did you cut around and go down, or did no, you? No, no, no. You just cut strips. You just go like this. But we didn't have the, the, the malfunction was we didn't have the beads at the bottom that sort of weighed it down. <laughs> so it just sort of looked like, you know, curly fries coming up. Uh-huh. That wasn't my best crop top. Things though. have really changed. They yeah. really have. <laughs> And this is you brought a you brought a drawing that you made and um, well explain what's going on here. This because... was hilarious because we were it was sort of t we, they all came over one night we were a bunch of people and then at a certain point like uh, Jonathan and, and Tanny were talking about like they, like sex and stuff you know like guys do yeah sure um, <laughs> and it guys in their crop it tops clear you know. that <laughs> yeah, guys, guys sitting around in crop tops with no beads <laughs> these tassels remind <laughs> yeah, exactly. me of a stripper I did. <laughs> <laughs> but it became clear that they had never seen, um, or at least Tanny and, and Jonathan had never, did not know what a vagina looked. Oh, I can say vagina, right? You can say they vagina, never, yeah. They never had seen a vagina, aside from what you would see maybe in a textbook or something like that. Uh-huh. So I thought that was kind of a teachable moment. I was like, I, I got very excited, and I was like, let's... <laughs> I went upstairs, and I got art supplies, and I said, we're going to all draw vaginas and just see... I just... Because I was dying to know what in their brain... That looked like. You and know? then and clearly we could all draw a penis. So 
Didn't they, did they try to draw the vagina and then you showed the... I, I just said, I don't want to see what you're drawing. I just want to know, just from an anatomical perspective, what you think this looks like. Right. And they said, great. And so they sat there and drew the uh, vaginas and then they, <laughs> to hilarious effect, held them up and showed me what they came up with. So this is so there's Jonathan, Jonathan with the... <laughs> Well, this... What I love about are we blurring it out or, or... yeah yeah the audience at home's not going to see okay, it but well, it's, it looks imagine the most <laughs> rudimentary vagina it looks more like a bat ever... than a vagina yeah. <laughs> so well, that's what, what they look it. like he even titled this drawing and he wrote the that... vagine yes yes that's the masculine <laughs> it's the masculine for I see it that's a man's it's, it's a man's it was all very what you have there. By the end. wow that <laughs> Wow, well, congratulations Thanks. on your new friends. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to be a part of that group. I'm sure they would love to have you. If you like that video, click the subscribe button, but only if you're ready for commitment.